Today I'm gonna show you how to install ExoShield on your front windscreen. Let's go. project right here we're gonna use exo shield they usually work with dealerships only you might not be able to uh, buy it fairly quick unless you are a dealership or a shop but I'm gonna make sure and link some uh, options for you on Amazon exo shield is pretty good because they're gonna give you a warranty for four years or 40,000 miles so before going forward I'm gonna introduce you to the tools you need for this project you would need a heat gun base one nothing fancy now you need a pressurized tank for uh, water pressure you can go with a regular sprayer like this but obviously this would be uh, more convenient also you would need a squeegee a couple of them a card a silicon blade a regular sponge knives one has to be regular stainless steel the other one carbon blade and a pair of scissors with uh, titanium blades also to make your life easier I'm gonna link all this down below in the description obviously it's gonna be an affiliate link it's not gonna affect your price it's just gonna give me a small tiny commission that's gonna support my channel so let's move on now the first step would be to prep your window you need to degrease it you need to use soap and uh, alcohol to decontaminate uh, to make sure you don't have oil or any wax on the windshield itself also before going to that you obviously need to take out the wiper blades and the plastics around the bottom side of the window so for this you would have to open up the hood and make sure you take all this out stick with us i'm gonna show you how it's done let's go After we cleaned out the windshield with soap, we're gonna clean it out with alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol diluted to water and the proportion is 1 to 10. Okay guys, so make sure you take the measurement for the length of the windshield. Cut it longer, make sure you don't miss a spot. Bring it on the windshield and make sure liner is on the inside basically you know what i mean so because the film is gonna be applied on the exterior of the window not from the inside all right let's go So now we're gonna tack the center so it doesn't move out. What we did, we cut it to the size for the bottom and the side only. The top side and this side, it's still loose like this. And now we're gonna start shrinking the film using the heat gun and we're gonna spend no more than five minutes on the each corner we're gonna heat this side no more than five minutes and then this side five minutes that side five minutes and over there five minutes we're gonna try not to super overheat the film Make sure you have proper slip solution between the film and the glass. First of all, you need to keep the glass at the lower temperature at all times. Also, you need to have a lot of uh, slip solution on the top of the film as well. The goal here is to keep the card be able to slide easily on the film. This is one second. You have to keep the, the film to be able to slide easily on the glass as well. 
Also, make sure to take your time. It's a lot different than shrinking a window tint film. Take it slow and when you slide down on a finger, don't push it again and again. Just push it once. If it doesn't lay down, move on. Move to the next one and so on and so on. Proper technique is to use heat, push the finger down, use again heat and push again the finger down until it lays down. Alright, so what we're doing right now, we're cutting to the size on the top side right now. But before that, we slide it down for about an inch just to make sure we have enough room to play in case we mess up something. So always ensure you have this room in case of mistake. Always play safe. small tip for the side fingers when you have something like this that is not more than I don't know two inches or three you can leave them they're fine because when you're gonna install the film you're gonna apply just a little heat and that it and it's gonna go away you know it's gonna glue itself to the glass and it's gonna be fine so don't worry about those too much as you can see the film is pretty much uh, laying flat and nice on the windshield right here so now what we're doing we're gonna cut down the passenger side excess over there and after that we're gonna align the edges for the bottom and the driver's side perfectly and and after that we're gonna proceed to cleaning the windshield again remember there is always good to spend as much as you can time on cleaning the windshield Right now what we're gonna do, we're gonna roll up the film and we're gonna put it the other way around, basically the backwards. So the liner is gonna be on the outside because we're gonna unpeel the liner, apply slip solution and put back the liner. So this way we're gonna prepare it for the installation. And now after that, we're gonna clean up again the windshield using alcohol again to make sure everything is nice and clean. And after that, we're gonna apply and install the film. Did I miss anything? Perfetto. Okay, so as I said, right now we're gonna install it backwards with the liner facing up basically right now. We're basically at the final steps right here and now we're cleaning out back side of the film basically. This is the liner. After that, we're gonna spray the slip solution under the liner and the film after that we're gonna roll it back and the film is gonna be ready to install and we're gonna have the final step 
to clean out the windshield again. We just want to make sure you guys understand, we can't stress enough how important is the windshield cleaning. Okay, so right now we remove the liner and applying the film. We're gonna tuck it to the window so it doesn't move. For this step, you have to apply as much pressure as you can. We don't have to leave any water underneath the, the film. Next step is to cut it to size from the top as well and after that we're gonna apply heat and uh, make sure we're getting rid of all the fingers across the, the windshield. And uh, the goal is to make sure we glue it at the top first. This way we're gonna avoid getting all the dirt and contamination under the film and the window. This step is called shaving. You basically make sure the edge is straight and even and nicely cut per size. And as you can see guys, we're almost done. Everything lined up very nicely. We don't have any fingers or anything else. It looks pretty good already. All right guys, so this is it. It looks a lot better because obviously the glue fills in the micro scratches, you know, the little holes that you have, that you had before actually. And uh, you get a lot of benefits with it. Just a side note, price-wise, I think it makes a lot of sense because if you think about it, you're gonna save in the long run. Get a crack or a chip, you have to go to a shop, you have to find time to repair it. But this way you're gonna keep your original windshield with the original uh, sensors on it with everything original so it makes a lot of sense to save uh, the windshield in the original state and for me it's basically a no-brainer I do this for all my cars so guys make sure you do it for any other information let me know I'll make sure you get your answers and yeah it's a wrap peace and I'll see you next time